Hi Virgos and welcome. My name is Inez and today I'm doing your weekly love reading from <clears throat> February 9th to the 15th. Please keep in mind that these are general love readings so I cannot and will not resonate with all of you. So if it doesn't apply, what are you going to do? That's right. You're going to let it fly. And if it does apply, then I would love to read your comments down below. Also, if you'd like to get a personal reading, you can contact me at intimategoddesstarot at gmail.com. Okay? So let's get your reading started. And let's see what's in store for my little fellow Virgos. Let's find out. The Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Woo-hoo! Let's um, do this. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th. Through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th through the 15th, 2020. Okay. Here we go. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about Virgos in Love from February 9th to the 15th, 2020. Please tell me about, there we go, there we go. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. Virgos, 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 Virgos. Let's see my little fellow Virgos, what's going on here. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. So, you're coming out on your own reading here, Virgo. Yes, you are. We have the Four Cups and a Hermit. We have the Star and the Three of Pentacles. We have the Chariot and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so you're coming out in your own reading. You guys could be dealing with another Virgo, an Aquarius, or a Cancer. If not dealing with any of those, you could be dealing with anybody. If not, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Earth sign Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Or uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Virgo, what it's telling me, basically you guys are bored. We're bored. Just call it as it is. The Virgo is bored. You guys are not communicating with somebody. You straight up bored. And then with the star here, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius that now wants to cooperate with you. You don't have to be dealing with an Aquarius. This could be somebody here. That sees you as a wish fulfillment that wants to heal the situation between the both of you guys. And they now, now this person is willing to cooperate with you. With the Three of Pentacles, they want to cooperate. They want to heal your relationship. They want to heal your connection. They want to heal it. And by the way, this also applies to men and females, not just to the females. And I pick up on energy. I'm not picking up on signs. So worry more about the energy versus the signs. Because 
uh, if so, if I'm not picking up, uh, picking up on your energy, I'm picking up on the other person's energy. Okay, so if you need to flip it, then by all means, go right ahead and flip it. And like I said, this also applies to men, not just to females, because we all have masculine, feminine energies within us. Okay, so this person wants to come in fast and they want to offer you stability. With the Knight of Pentacles, they want to offer you stability. And this person now, they want to heal your connection. They want they want to heal the connection. They want to work with you. They want to meet you halfway. They want to compromise. Because Virgos, you guys are bored. Some of you guys are just bored. Some of you guys may feel rejected. Or both. Right? Could be both. And let's see about the four of cups here. Let's find out more about the four of cups. Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please give me more information. Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Please give me more information on the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Please give more information on the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? Please give more information on the four of cups. Please give more information on the four of cups. Why is the four of cups here? Please give more information on the four of cups. Okay. So we have the cherry in reverse. We have the five of wands, the seven of wands, and the king of cups. So this person was basically, it wasn't going anywhere. And by it not going anywhere, it was making you feel rejected. You was also bored with the whole entire situation because it wasn't going anywhere. All this person was doing was basically fighting you off. There was conflict. It could have been, you guys could have been conflicted or this could be inner conflict. This person was basically, somebody here was making an offering and they was basically pushing you away. This person was basically pushing you away. They was resisting you. They was fighting you. So you're over here trying to make an offering like, yo man, what's up? Let's hook up together. And they're like, no, I don't want to. Leave me alone. But you know you want to. Come on now. You know you want to. Stop trying to act. Stop trying to put up the front. You know you want to. No, I don't. Leave me alone, girl. Leave me alone. Go over there. Move, move. Go over there. No, you know you want to. You know you want to, Virgo. You know you want it. <laughs> it's true. You know you want this, Virgo. Don't fight the feeling. <laughs> But they kept fighting you away. They kept fighting like, go over there. Go over there, girl. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Go over there. But they kept fighting you. They kept fighting you. It's all because of inner conflict that this person could have had or you guys could have been having conflict. But either way, it wasn't going anywhere. You guys was bored with the whole entire situation. You guys was bored with the whole entire situation. Shit, this ain't going nowhere. Your ass is bored. And you're feeling rejected as well because... They're basically pushing you away, so you're feeling rejected. And then with the Herman here, you guys are not communicating. You guys are not communicating with this person. Please give more information on the Hermit. Please give more information with the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? Please give more information with the Hermit. Please give more information with the Hermit. Please give more information on the Hermit. Please give more information on the Hermit. Please get more information on the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Please get more information on the hermit. Please get more information on the hermit. That wasn't meant to come out. Please get more information on the hermit. 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 Why is this hermit here? Please get more information. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So you guys could be also dealing with a Capricorn. Uh, you guys could be dealing with a Cancer, which I already said. But this could be somebody that's a business owner. 
They could be in a leadership position at their job. They could be a father figure. They could also be a husband. And this person is financially stable. So we have the Virgo holding back. We have the strength, the three of wands, and the three of swords. Somebody's hurt here. Somebody's hurt. Damn it. So somebody's hurt. You could be holding back. You could be holding back from basically communicating from this person. Because right now you guys are not communicating. With the hermit there, you guys are not communicating. Some of you guys may be communicating. Some of you guys may not. But with the hermit there, there's no communication going on. And you guys could be holding yourselves back. Because you're just waiting. You're waiting on this person because you're hurt. With the three of swords, this is you being hurt because... This person made you feel rejected because they kept pushing you away. They kept pushing you away and you ended up getting your feelings hurt. You got your feelings hurt. I wouldn't go as far as saying you were heartbroken. Now, some of you guys did get your heart broken, but some of you guys were just got your feelings hurt and now you're holding back from communicating with this person and you're basically just waiting right now. Let me find out more about... Let's find out about this star. You're waiting on them. You're waiting on the other person to communicate with you because you're holding yourself back. You're not communicating. So you're waiting on them. Please get more information about the star. Please get more information on the star. Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. Please get more information on the star. Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. Please get more information on the star. Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. 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 Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. Come on, Virgos, talk to me. Please get more information on the star. Why is the star here? Please get more information on the star. Please get more information on the star. There goes that king of pentacles. <laughs> look, he came out. He came out. He's going to come out. And we have the lovers. And we have the eight of swords. So, whoever this person is, I mean not the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. Whoever this person is, they're nervous. They're not scared. They're just nervous about communicating with you. Well, yeah. They're nervous. They, be think, they think about you. They think about you. This person does care about you. For some of you guys out there... That don't think that this person actually cares. They actually do. You guys could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Because like I said. This is clarifying the Aquarius here. I mean the star here. So this person actually does care about you. They just nervous. And this person. They could be. Like I said a few minutes ago. They could be. Uh, this person could be in a leadership position at their job. You know manager, director. Or they could be a. Uh, business owner this person is financially stable they have a lot to offer a person either a man or woman this person has stability to offer you and this person tends to be a father figure or a husband and they're nervous about approaching you because this person actually does care about you they're just nervous due to the fact with their history with the rate that was going where you're busy offering them love and they basically pushing you away and now all they now that now they have you in their head and they're nervous about approaching you i'm gonna get one i'm gonna get more on the star please get more information on the star why is the star here please get more information on the star why is the star here please get more information see look at that three of pentacles again they want to cooperate this person now wants to cooperate. They're nervous about contacting you. This person is nervous now. 
they're nervous about contacting you. Because they want to cooperate and we got the three of pentacles here. Because this person does care about you. They do love you. Let's find out about the three of pentacles. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Please give more information on the three of pentacles. Okay, so we got the ending. The ten of swords came out. I knew I should have said something earlier. I knew it. I knew that I knew that this card was gonna come out. Look. The three of wands. When I was shuffling before I even started, because you know I was shuffled before I started recording. Well, the three of the six of wands, not three, the six of wands, the six of pentacles, it flipped over and then it fell on the floor. And then when I was shuffling right now, it kept showing itself to me. Well, not right now. When I was first shuffling, it kept showing itself to me, but it wasn't coming out. And now it finally came out. And it's coming out the same way it was coming out. It's com it kept coming out in reverse. When it flipped over, it was flipping over in reverse. When it fell on the ground, it fell, in re it was, it fell down in reverse. And every time it kept showing itself, it was showing coming up in reverse. So this person now wants to... This person now wants to make things right with you because they know that between the both of you guys, there was no equal give and take. They know that they was crumbing you. So now they want to come back in and they want to make things right because we have justice here. You see? Balancing out the scales. This person now wants to come back in and balance out the scale because things ended because why? Because it was no equal give and take here. This person was crumbing you. This person was crumbing you and they was pushing you away. So their insecurities that they had made you feel insecure. And then you was bored with the whole entire situation because shit wasn't going nowhere. You was bored with it. So now they want to come back in and cooperate with you. Something that you was willing to do from the very beginning. You was willing to cooperate with this person. You was willing to meet them halfway. You was willing to compromise with this person. But they wasn't doing it. And they know that what they did, they was being unfair. They know that they was crumbing you and they know that they was being unfair with you. And that's why now they want to come back in and make things right because things ended. Things that ended. I'm going to get more on the Three of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Please get more information on the Three of Pentacles. Please get more information on the Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. They want commitment now. They want commitment. They want to make things right with you because they now want commitment. Let's find out about the chariot. Please get more information on the chariot. Why is the chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. Why is this chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. Please get more information on the chariot. Why is this chariot here? Please get more information on the chariot. 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 See? We have the king of the king of wands. It's a rods, but I like the way wands sounds better. It sounds better coming out of my mouth versus rods. I like wands. So I'm gonna say wands. So, we have the King of Wands. This person feels very passionate towards you. And we have the High Priestess. Of course, you guys are not communicating. And what we have here. How did she come out? She came out in reverse, yeah. The Queen of Swords in reverse. So, this person thinks that you're mad at them. They might be just... They, they may be on to something right there. 
right? Right, Virgos? They might just be on to something right there. Because this person thinks that you guys may be mad at them. But they want to come in fast. But because they're listening. I want to say... Uh, so they're listening to their intuition here. This person is listening to their intuition. They want to come towards you. They want to come towards you. They want to come in fast and they want to offer you stability. And they're starting to, and they're listening to their intuition. What it's telling them. And their intuition is telling them that you might just be on, that, that you just might be mad at them. And if their intuition is telling them, they might be on to something right there. You know, they could be right. Yeah, you might be right about that. The Virgo might just be mad at you. Depending on the some of Virgos may not be mad at you anymore. Some Virgos may still be mad at you. I don't know. Depends on your situation. But either way, this person, they want to come towards you. They're listening to the intuition. And... Let's get some more. Please give me some more information on a chariot. Why is a chariot here? Please give me more information on a chariot. Please give me more information on a chariot. Why is it? Why is a chariot here? Please give me more information on a chariot. Why is a chariot here? Excuse me. We have the death card in reverse. They want to come back. They want to come back. Don't want to come back. Welcome back to that same old place where we hung around. <laughs> that was Welcome Back, Cotter. No, I'm not that old. I was still a little girl when that show was out. Okay. So, let's see. So, they want to come back with a death card here. With a death card here. This is a rising of a phoenix right here. So if you thought things have ended between you, both of you guys, you are completely wrong. You are completely wrong because this person feels very passionate about you. This person feels very passionate about you and the King of Wands, he was born ready. He does not get ready. He's a passionate king. When he wants something, he goes after it. And he's coming after you because you're the one that he wants to be with. He wants now... This king of pentacles wants commitment now. He wants commitment. He wants to do right by you. He wants to do right by you because he loves you. He loves you. And he's offering you stability as well. He's offering you passion and stability. And good credit. And joint bank accounts. Wow. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, wishful thinking. I mean, the star is here. Might as well put the wish out there, right? Try and manifest that shit. But anyways, but this is what they. But this King of Wands. This is he's coming towards you. They he's getting on his chariot. He's gonna hop on that chariot. Be like, I'm gonna ride to my Virgo. I'm gonna get on Virgo. Go Virgo. I'm gonna go see my Virgo. Get up, Virgo. Get up. He's gonna go see his Virgo. That's you, Virgo. Because they're coming back, even though they may, even though some of you guys may be pissed off, but he's still, she's still coming back. And it has not ended. If you thought it ended, you better think twice because it hasn't. Now, it's not going to happen right away because, you know, time works differently for everybody. So it may not happen this week. It could happen next week or within two weeks because, you know, I'm doing a reading for this week. But for some reason, I'm, 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 yeah, I'm being led to actually tell you this because I never do. This is the first time I, I'm actually saying it where, you know, time is, you know, fluent. Not everybody works on the same wavelength. So it may not happen this week, but it could easily happen next week or two weeks from now. When this person actually finally comes towards you and communicates with you. Because they're coming towards you. No doubt about that. They're coming. They're on this chariot. They are coming. 
they're on the chariot. You got the king of wands here. The king of wands, he takes action, baby. He takes action. He don't play. He takes action, and he's hopping on his chariot, and he's ready to come. See, the good thing about this is that he's getting on a chariot. He's getting on the chariot coming towards you. But he's off with the Knight of Pentacles. He's offering you stability. So he's not moving as slow as a damn knight. Because this one right here, you're going to have to call an Uber. But being that he's coming in, coming towards you, but when he's coming in, he's offering you stability. So he's not, so he's coming bearing gifts at the same time. He's not coming all empty handed and shit. He's bearing gifts. Okay? So. Let's find out about this Knight of Pentacles. Look, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. They're coming in. They're going to be speaking their truth. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Libra. Who else do I have here? A Scorpio. A Pisces. Uh, who else do I see here? I already mentioned those. Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Please, please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Please give me more information on the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay. I'm going to go right ahead and take all these cards because they all flipped over. All three of them. So, we have the Page of Pentacles. An apology. Apology. This is apology. Or this is them sending you a small message. Basically saying... Hey, um, hey, hope all is good. You know, just wanted to check up on you, see if you was okay. This is them sending that small message. Or they could be like, hey, you know, want to make sure you're okay. You know, maybe we want to get together and see, you know, I would like to see you so we could talk. It could be like that. And then throughout that talk, they could be apologizing to you. And then we have here, what we have here? Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, Hangman in Reverse, and the King of Swords. So, this person no longer needs clarity. They already know. They already gained all the clarity that they needed. They already gained it. There ain't no more for you to gain, dude. Okay, come down. There ain't no more for you to gain up there. And that's what they did. They climbed, they climbed down from a damn tree. Because they already climbed. I mean, what else is there for you to know? Seriously, what else? And like I said, you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Because this is a King of Swords. And for me as a reader, I see the King of Swords as a Aquarius. The King of Swords, he acts on truth. He speaks truth. Not all the time, though. To each his own, you know, not all the time. But when he's upright, he's supposed to speak truth. Okay, he's supposed to speak truth when he's upright, okay? When he's reversed, he ain't speaking no truth. That's a straight up lie. But when he's upright, he's speaking truth. That's what he's doing. He's speaking truth. And he comes across cold, distant, detached. When it comes to him expressing his emotions. Wow. It's like a king of swords trying to express his emotion. He basically has a sword up to you, up to your face talking about, I like you. Okay? You're the one that I like. You got a sword right saying, I like you. You're the one that I want to be with. With a damn sword in his hand. You'd be like, okay, dude, you can take the sword down. I get the idea. You like me. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like that. You know, very direct. You know, with a sword in your hand. You're the one I like. Okay. Sword down. 
but this is that king of swords right here and but the good thing is the thing about it is that the king of swords also came out with the queen of cups so when this person approaches you the king of swords is leaving his comfort zone because yes. he's gonna be approaching you as a queen of cups and you know the queen of cups she's all about love 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 she's all about love so he's coming to you in a different energy he was like this when you was offering him when you was offering his love when you was offering his ass love he was like this he was this is the energy that he was giving you being cold distant detached wasn't expressing to you how he actually felt at all, was always in his head. You know, you didn't even know where the hell you stood with him. Shit wasn't going nowhere. You know, it's like, are you even interested in me? Do you even want to be with me? It's like, okay, you know, am I just wasting my time here with you? That's the way he was in the beginning when you was trying to offer him love. See? But this is you offering this person now like i said if you need to flip it and flip it so this is you offering him love but he's like being all cold distant detached you know it's like he's not even interested it's like really that's how this person was but now he's coming to you in a queen of energy the queen of cups energy which the queen of cups she offers love she has self-love. She has lots of love for herself and lots of love to give. She's all about love. And the Queen of Cups, she's in love. The Queen of Cups, she's in love. When the Queen of Cups is offering you love, it's because she's in love. The King of Cups, when he extends himself out, he's emotionally balanced and he's also in love. And the Queen of Cups, because she's all about love, so she's in love. So this person is coming to you in this energy right here. They're not coming to you in the King of Swords energy, being cold and distant. Cause that shit ain't going to work out. If it didn't work out in the past, what will make you think it's going to work out now. You know, if you want to be with me, you're going to need to express yourself. And that's why now they're coming in this energy. Because they already gained all the clarity that they needed. They already gained it. They don't need no more clarity. And they're coming in fast and they're going to be offering you stability. And they're going to try and make things right with you because they know they messed up in the past. The intuition is telling them, you fucked up. You messed up. You need to make this thing right with Virgo. You need to make it right with her. Because you know you do love her. You know you want to be with her. Because we have the lovers here. We have the king and queen of cups here. What else do we have here? So it's not like there's no love here. There's love here in the spread. And there's passion. Didn't I see the Ace of Wands? No, the Ace of Wands is the King of Wands. So there's passion here. This person feels passionate about you. They feel there's love and passion here. So that's great. There's love, passion, and stability. Which is good. Actually, not good, it's great. It's great. Okay, so let's get you a guidance message. Please give me a guidance message for Virgos. 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 Intentions. Intentions is a creative power that fulfills our dreams. As your will, so is your destiny. Hmm. Go figure. Okay, Virgo. So this is all I have for you guys. Uh, I will see you guys again for your weeklies. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys take care. Be safe and be cool. Okay? Stay cool, Virgo. Bye.